Perfect. Hi, everyone. I'm Raquel from Fangeles. Nice to meet you. Hi, Hi Raquel. <laughs> How are you? Great. Great. How are you doing? <laughs> awesome. Well, tell us, how did you get involved in this project? Uh, uh, well, I was writing a story about being an aunt, and then I ran into the people that had the rights to the Amber Brown books, and we just joined forces. I was very lucky to have uh, Paula Danzinger, the author of the books, approve me to bring this to life, combined with my own life experience. And, and then I was really fortunate to uh, cast a net for the most talented people <laughs> that could possibly come forward. And, you know, I, I'm always flattered when an actor will read something I write and say that they want to be a part of it. It's a big compliment. So I was very lucky to get these two talented, beautiful people. Oh. <laughs> Not these two here. Uh, yeah, another two. Another Aaron two. and Michael. In yeah. another room. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I read the I read the script and fell in love with it. And I was re I've always been a huge fan of Bonnie's. And I was very excited to get the chance to work with her. Um, and I just connected to the characters so much. I thought it was such a unique, um a unique take on the family comedy and uh and moving and deep and funny and charming and full of love and all the good things all the good <laughs> things I love the animation part of it too that yeah. that really yeah. stood out to it me it really shows Amber's script. emotions because mm -hmm. there are some things that she doesn't like share with mm -hmm. her family and her friends and I feel like between the video diary and the animations it really can show how she's really feeling mm -hmm. so I, I just feel like that's that's also good I love right that. <laughs> and you're able to play all that yep. which is a gift for me because I wanted the characters to be so dimensional mm -hmm. and you know all those aspects of Amber Carson that you bring to life and a lot of it's you too yeah, yeah. I feel so connected to Amber I feel yeah. like I I'm really similar to her and I feel like a lot of the characters do like well I write now more for you guys and what you do uh you know, as the show was going on, I was like, oh, you know, Carson will do this wonderfully. And Sarah's so, you know, plays the pathos and the humor just equally as wonderful. And that match is so great. It's <laughs> like, it doesn't happen every it's day. So great. It's a big old love fest over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> well, my next question is, what advice would you give uh, to the kids and parents who we, we will see they so um, want to be like Amber? Uh, well, I feel like, to be honest, just watching this, I feel like I'm hoping that people will feel connected to these characters. And I feel like they can learn a lot from dynamics because there could be some parent out there, or some kid out there who's feeling something and they don't know how to show it to their people they love and so mm -hmm. I feel like just the words that Amber and uh, Sarah use in there and all the other characters too and Bonnie like you wrote some great words for the people to use to describe this and it could help people be more open right because the characters in our show are very flawed and mm -hmm. and they're all trying to figure out how to be a decent person <laughs> and you know when they fail at it it there's a there's humor and um there's a lot of comfort, I think, in it too, that there, you're not alone and that we all make mistakes and we all have growing pains no matter how old we are. It just, it never ends. And that life and, and relationships are all about making repair and finding peace in, in the midst and navigating through all of those things. Yeah. You're never going to have a pain-free life. Pain is there. So how do you find the joy in the midst of the pain? How do you hold both the, those things in your hands at the same time? Because that's what life is. We can't protect our kids from pain and from sadness. We, we have to just walk with them, beside them. Um, and this show really does give words to that inner life. And, and it also gives beautiful examples of people really just trying their best to love one another well. So I, I hope families watch this together and, yeah, and laugh, laugh, and, and, laugh, laugh and, and talk, yeah. Yeah, all of those. It things. connects families. Cause I feel like, like um, I was saying earlier, how, when, like, if I'm watching a kid's show, a lot of time, I feel like my mom wants to like walk out of the room. You know, we don't, so it, uh, <laughs> a lot of parents don't feel like they can watch the same shows that kids can. This is like a perfect in between where it's not too mature for kids to understand, but it's not too um, dumbed down for parents to 
like enjoy. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. They're going to love it. They're going to love it. Cause you're, yeah. you're, you're really in the inner life of the adults as well as exactly. Amber, as well as the kids. So you get to, everybody can enjoy yeah, it. You get to see, like you were saying earlier, you get to see into their conversations. There's a window for kids watching to be, to see like how the parents are handling it. Not just Amber, because there, there are lots of different like perspectives to the story. So. Yeah. Amber's that character that sits at the top of the steps to overhear possibly what her parents are talking about in the kitchen or the adults in the family. And I feel like the audience at home is sitting on another set of steps, watching everybody hear mm -hmm. how they're dealing with things and how it's talked about. Um, Cause everybody's feelings are at stake mm -hmm. and on a daily basis, you know, everybody takes stuff personally. And I think that's what we're seeing in the show. And, you know, uh, how do you get some perspective on that? And where's the humor in it? They, they did. They are laughing at themselves a lot too. <laughs> yes. yes. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time and congrats for this amazing show. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>